Hey peeps, what's up? It's me, Katie, and everyone knows what time it is. It's time for What's Katie Watching This Week. Now, I got something special in store for you all. Well, considering that I finally went through all my box of movies and stuff, I decided to do a special edition, and it is the special girly movie edition and it's actually like teeny movie so um and in case you might have noticed I did get my hair cut mm -hmm. like it okay it's just a trim not anything really spectacular but still cool anyways but without further ado let's get to the movies all right all right the first movie I watched this week was Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. And all I have to say is this movie was complete and utter bullcrap. And I got this for a dollar at Half Price Books and I want my dollar back because that's how much crap is in this one movie. Seriously. And um, the only kind of sort of highlight in it was there was a British guy, and I was kind of like, oh, did I pay a dollar for a British accent? But, I mean, all in all, it's just weird. Like, there's, like, no, like, the whole subplot was, like, totally non-existent. And it's like, you're supposed to know these characters, and you only met them, like, once or twice. Like, you, like they are totally not even in your head. And I'm like, you're supposed to feel emotion for these people, and, like, you don't even have the time to be able to do that. So I'm like, boo, Lohan. Already, you, you know, just no. Just save yourself the time. And if you have already seen it, I feel sorry for you. And if you haven't seen it, don't watch it because it was seriously a waste of, let's see how, how long was this movie? 90 minutes. It was a waste of 90 minutes. Okay, I will never get those back in my life, and it's all thanks to Lindsay Lohan's bullcrap in this movie. So, listen to me, and don't watch it. <laughs> Alright, the next movie I watched this week was Center Stage. And, I'd seen this movie before, but I was just watching it again, and... I really like this movie. It's really cute, and I mean, it's not like a cinematic masterpiece or anything, but it's really cute, and I like it because it is girly, and well, I am a girl, but um, it was um, it's fun, and it's a nice lively romp, and I enjoy it. Um, my favorite part is the end, of course, and I actually, back in high school, I used to watch the end of the movie before I went to school because I loved it so much, but, um, if you haven't seen Center Stage, I highly recommend it if you're really into girly movies, and, um, it's about ballet dancers, and, um, so if you like movies of dance and stuff, too, you'll, you'll really like it. Um, I liked, um... A lot of it, I actually had little dance memorized from like, back when I was in high school and stuff, so I had memorized a lot of their dances and stuff. But, um, it is really good, and, um, it's funny, and it's, I don't know, you can get kind of emotional. I love it. It's girly. So, if you like girly movies, I highly recommend Center Stage. So, don't watch the Lindsay Lohan bullcrap. Lindsay Lohan bullcrap. Watch the cute cute movie. <laughs> and it has, um, um, what's his name? Um, Peter Gallagher in it, but my dad doesn't call him Peter Gallagher. He thinks that, he always calls him Eddie Albert Jr. So it has the Eddie Albert Jr. lookalike. Even though it's not Eddie Albert Jr., it's Peter Gallagher. Um, yeah, so, watch this movie. Alright. Okay, now, the next movie I watched this week was called Boys and Girls. Now, I remember when this movie first came out, it was like my 13th birthday. And it was like the first movie I watched when I turned 13. Like, when to go see my first like PG-13 movie. And this was it. And I like bought it shortly afterwards when it came onto video cassette. 
and um when I first saw it I actually didn't really like it and um, it's probably because I was so young or something but um I just recently watched it again this past week and I actually ended up liking it a little bit more even though like there were certain parts I still found pretty annoying and overall it was a pretty decently cute movie it was alright it wasn't too spectacular but it had its moments and um generally it's pretty even like if you're cleaning your room and you just want to have something on as background noise or say it's like 3 in the morning and you need to watch something it's a pretty good movie to watch for that but um I wouldn't go out of your way to watch it unless like you're a big like Freddie Prince Jr. fan but um all in all not too bad you know not much depth you know deepness there but um overall it was okay so yeah boys and girls if you want a movie to watch while you're puking that's your choice Now this last movie I'm going to talk about is totally, totally my pick for the week and it's my like Katie's watching pick of the week because I loved it so much. I hadn't seen it before and it was the first time I'd seen it. Um, my mom was going through some of my movies and um, or her movies and gave it to me to watch and I watched it and the movie I'm talking about is 13 going on 30. And I thought it was absolutely adorable. Seriously. I like fell in love with this movie. I watched it like two times, like back to back. I'm one of those people. I like to do that. But um it's about this girl and she made this wish on her thirteenth birthday to be a beautiful thirty year old and her wish amazingly, immaculately comes through. And it's all about, you know, the kooky adventures that, you know, that happen, and it's adorable, and the end, I seriously was, like, about to cry, and I think I, I think I, I did cry, and then, you know, it's just a really good movie, and if you love girly movies, and you know, especially if you get, like, get that little, like, heart, the heart strings are tugging. Oh my god, this is, this is the cutest movie for that. And it just makes you happy and giddy and, you know, fills you up with, like, some good, warm stuff inside. So, if you want a really good, feel-good movie, I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, go out and watch it. Um, it's so adorable. I got it for a dollar. We got it for a dollar, apparently, at, like, Half Price Books. Go to Half Price Books, because you can get amazing deals on, like, everything there. So if you don't have a Half Price Books near you, you should go to it, because they're, like, my god in, like, media, because I've never had to pay, like, full price for anything anymore. And you always get great deals on everything there. It's amazing. I can't go in there without buying something. But, um, 13 going on 30 watch it okay also that's our show for this week um tune in next time for the next edition of what's katie watching this week and who knows what i might be watching so tune in and check it out all right love you bye